Good morning. In the previous session, we discussed about values, meaning and the concept, then the types of values. So continuing with that, in this session, we will discuss about what are human values, the concept of human values and uh, what different values uh, we considered as, consider as human values according to different authors and researchers. Now first, concept of human values. Human values are those values which are universal in nature, means present everywhere, across any nation, any culture, any religion, shared by all human beings irrespective of their culture, religion or nationality. This is what we expect from others and what we aim to give to others. Whatever type of behavior we expect for us from others, that kind of behavior is the reflection of human values. Human values are unique to every individual because every individual has uh, different priorities in terms of values. Everyone does not give equal importance to all elements of life. That's what I was saying. The priority list of everyone could be different. For someone, maybe truthfulness is more important. For somebody else, it would, it would be uh, self-control, which is more important. So everyone has their own priority lists. It is related to human behavior because whatever values we carry, we behave according to that. These are developed through socialization, whatever social relationships we have with others, individual experiences and identification with significant others. The people uh, to whom we considered, consider as our ideal, we try to identify with them, means we try to copy them in terms of values or behavior. So uh, the development of human values depend upon these factors. Now the definition of human values, uh, human values are core co uh, conceptions of the desirable, means what is desired, what is acceptable within every individual and society. They serve as standards or criteria to guide not only action but also judgment, choice, attitude, evaluation, argument, rationalization and attribution of causality, that is the cause and effect relationship. So, uh, values not only affect our standards or the behavior, it has a greater impact as to it affect our judgment, it affect our choices, evaluations, attitude towards a particular thing, uh, the arguments we place in front of others, uh, our logical mindset and ultimately the attribution of causality. That is, uh, to whom we consider as a cause of our problems or, or our achievements. Uh, in this case, some people have uh, uh, different mindset that they try to make external factors as their cause. Uh, whatever they achieve or whatever they are not able to achieve, the cause to which they attribute that success or failure is more important. So this is how our value system affect all these areas. This definition was given by M. Rokesh. Uh, he was a great uh, psychologist he has given this definition now composition of human values that is uh, what kind of values or which values uh, we consider into human values according to dr gavande uh, seven human values are there these are truthfulness constructivity that is the positive or good purpose with which we do a particular task then sacrifice, then sincerity, self-control, altruism. Altruism is thinking about well-being and happiness for all. Scientific vision. So these are the seven uh, human values according to Dr. Gavande. Then according to NCRT, that is National Council for Educational Research and Training, there are 84 human values. It's a huge number. This is the table which depict uh, these 84 human values. Then another classification according to Sheswards, he identified 10 universal human values. According to him, these values are first is achievement, uh, means the people, uh, certain people have high priority for achievement. They want to achieve high goals in their life. Second one is benevolence. Benevolence means honesty, loyalty, helpfulness, welfare of people. Third is conformity. The people who have high value of conformity, they try to conform to the standards of the society the rules and regulations of the society. Next is hedonism. The people uh, who are having high hedonism as a value, they try to enjoy their life. Uh, they want to have more comfort and pleasure in their life. 
then another one is power the people who have high value of power they are those who want to dominate others who want to influence others who want to lead others then is the security they want uh, physical and economic security in their lives and they will never take any risk they will not uh, do any task which has certain challenges then self direction some people are self directed they know what to do how to do and when to do they need no instructions from from anybody then next is stimulation stimulation is the uh, level of excitement and adventure in one's life uh, the people who are high in stimulation uh, value they accept challenges they want variety they want novelty means newness in their life then is the tradition the people who are having high traditional values they are very much uh, religion oriented they want to follow customs and traditions in their life they are highly devoted they are very self controlled and the last one is universalism the people who believe in universalism they understand and protect all people and nature they have very um, they are very broad minded they believe in equality they want to have peace justice harmony and unity at world level so these are the 10 values uh, now if we see a broader classification for these 10 values we actually can uh, segregate them into two dimensions first dimension is uh, self enhancement versus self transcendence and other dimension is openness to change versus conservation so coming to the first first uh, uh, dimension that is self enhancement versus self transcendence self enhancement means when we think only about our own development that is completely self centered or self interest and self transcendence is that where we think about our development but along with the welfare of everyone so that is more of social welfare so if we see uh, these 10 values we can definitely segregate them into these two dimensions if we see achievement and power these two comes under self enhancement because in this we talk only about our self interest self development what we want to achieve for ourselves then if we see universalism and benevolence benevolence honesty loyalty helpfulness and welfare of people and universalism means understanding and protecting all people and nature right so these two are um uh, coming under self transcendence so self transcendence is social welfare what uh, what what is depicted in these two values now the other dimension is openness to change versus conservation openness to change means the person is ready to change accept the challenges uh and they want to see um, certain newness in their life and the people who are more conservative will see towards the customs and traditions they will not uh, they they will not uh, try to change they don't want to have challenges in their life they want to have a very riskless or risk free life so according to these two um, extremes we can see self direction and stimulation comes under openness to change because these two people have independent thinking they are always ready to change they want some challenges in their life some new things in their life so both of them come under openness to change then conformity tradition and security these three values come under conservation because in these three uh, we we talk about self control uh, we don't want to change we want to follow the customs and tradition we want to feel secure we want to conform the standards of the society so this is how these nine uh, values have been segregated now the last the tenth value which is hedonism we have kept it separate because it comes under two categories one is uh, self enhancement and other one is openness to change because it has both the characteristics the people who are hedonistic they um, are uh, they accept the change very easily they are open minded and at the same time they talk about their own pleasure and their uh, comfort in the life so it is self enhancement so if we see uh, this diagram uh, this is depicted in this this is self transcendence two values are there one is universalism and another one is benevolence then we see conservation three values are there conformity tradition security then is self enhancement achievement and power is there then openness to change stimulation and self direction is there and hedonism has been kept in between because it has attribute of openness to change as well as self enhancement so this value depict the these two dimensions together so we have kept it here 
so by this diagram it is very much clear that uh, these values can be segregated segregated in these two dimensions so this was all about the uh, components of human values or we can say the classification of human value values uh, that's all for today's session in next session we will come up with some new topic thank you very much